Hey guys, Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. I'm Zach. I'm James. And we're back here with Rick and Morty, Season 3, Episode 2. Sorry, I didn't know the exact episode. <laughs> I love this show. And Zach, this is one of your favorite shows that we do. It is. You enjoy it quite a bit, don't you? I love it. We're on Season 3 now. I've seen all th Season 3. And I've seen maybe the first two episodes of Season 4. These guys are going through it fresh. Gentlemen, what happened last time? Well, honestly, it's kind of a blur for me because things have been so fucked up for me lately was but uh Rick you tell me you're jacking off so hard what happened again <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was jacking off with roller skates on yeah uh and i fell and broke my wrist but or okay. my, my elbow uh but anyway i think this season three episode one was an episode where rick was still in fucking jail right? the last episode was rick shank redemption right where yep. he was in jail and oh he had to break out, out. Mm -hmm. yeah God. Yep. yeah well, i'm just a dumbass bug but <laughs> <laughs> have yeah. you seen the shawshank redemption oh yeah dude many times great movie that's a damn good one I hear you guys mentioned it. He's a spy. Blow him up. I'm going to take a dump. He's a spy. Blow him up. I'm going to go take a shit. That was great. <laughs> Did that tell the story about the guy at Ohio State rubbing his ass like sandpaper? Yeah. Okay. yeah if I didn't a... say that in Rick and Morty, it's in one of our reactions. That's why you should watch all of them. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was uh, when the family realized they were mi miserable without Rick, right? Yeah. They were fucking devastated. I think that but, was... Well, the, the world they were living in with the Grumplemites. It was Grumplemites, a shit show, yeah. With the Grumplemites and the Empire. Mm -hmm. that, well, they... Federation. Well, they became part of the Federation. Yeah. yeah, and they were the pills for dinner, pills for breakfast, pills for lunch. Yeah. Jerry had a job. I didn't know what the fuck he did, but he was obviously <laughs> oblivious, ignorant, yeah. and happy. And there was a game changer at the end of the episode. You, got, you remember what that was? I know you remember. It was where Jerry said, it's me or him. He uh, gives Beth an ultimatum. Yeah, Beth ultimatum. Which is, ultimatum, yeah. I don't like when people give me ultimatums. Yeah. And I don't, in the same way, I, don't, I respect when people it. give me ultimatums, I generally choose the one by default that pisses them off. <laughs> same I because it's like no I won't do like it like to say that I would never do that but I think I'm kind of the same way I'm the yeah. same, you know I'm the same way yeah well I know you're away you know here, I'm unfortunately probably the same way <laughs> here's the you deal. are that way <laughs> if somebody gives me an ultimatum I pick the worst thing for them even if it fucks me in the process you know what I mean yeah I, I give a fuck I'm I'm not well, I, I generally yeah I might be the same way <laughs> well, the, the ultimatums they get me is like well you know it's gonna it's going to do this, it's going to do that, it's going to do this to you. It's like, okay, fuck it. Yeah. Well, here, here's the deal. Uh, in this situation with Jerry, if Jerry said that to me, I'd be like, bye, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Or... But you'd be such a loving yeah, husband yeah. to you. Well, yeah, he would be a loving husband. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he'd pamper yeah, me. Yeah, you know, honestly, I don't think you should do that to people you love, really, even yeah. if think times are hard. Uh, I don't do that to people I even dislike. I just yeah. don't like... I think it's bad form. Let's say I love fucking Jerry to death. I didn't want Jerry to leave, but if he gave me an ultimatum, motherfucker's gone. I don't, I don't like, give I don't a like shit. Jerry. I don't like Jerry either. I don't he's, like Jerry. Yeah, he's he's a shitty character for sure. He's I like to watch he's him. He's good for the humor. Yeah, I like to watch him. Mm -hmm. I'm not it, saying I... Yeah. Good to see Rick trash him. It's mm -hmm. good to see him say such terrible, shitty things that right. Beth and everybody gives a step. They walk all over him yeah. because he's a fucking... He's a... He's you a know, worm. He is a he's worm. He's a worm. I've received ultimatums before and slept in my car for a week. So, that's how crazy I am. Now you're divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Assembled molecules drifting wherever the universe blows you. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. I didn't see you there. How much of that did you hear? All of it. You were looking right at me. <laughs> wanted to say goodbye to the Sweetie? <laughs> well, I, I better... Sure. Sounds important. Ouch. If you're looking for our kids, your father did a, a portal. Uh... Okay. <sighs> you jackass. <sighs> he is a jackass. This hits pretty close to home right now for me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was cool. Kill me, please. Okay, but not because you told me to. Summer. Damn. Okay, getting darker. What's, uh, what's that little bobble you got back there? That, that's interesting. Ooh. To remind us there are no gods. Kids, weird pitch. Let's have this be our new life. Let's be post-apocalyptic scavengers! Okay. <laughs> Seriously, Rick? Is it really easier to eat human flesh than to just tell me why we're still here? No. Okay, I'll level with you. Hey! I didn't do that! <laughs> okay, this is exciting. We're making some discoveries about muscle memory. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Stop standing in the driveway talking about custody and either tell her you want to stay married or get on with your life. But whatever you do, stop being a baby and act like a man. 
Wow. Morty! That was a <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother! It's about 40 yards from anyone else. Hey, the green rock is gone! Oh, no. uh, I know. Why don't we all split up and look for it in groups of three, kids? Oh, God. Oh. Fucking Morty. Morty's arm. Oh. Sorry, but can we not kill him? Can, can we just take him prisoner? When did I lose control here? Yeah. We're coming from a room. Tell us my bread in the morning. You just became my backup toast. <laughs> my sister died in the spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> look, man, I'm just along for the ride on this one. You know, you're preaching to the choir here. Please, slavery was a family business. You know, do what you gotta do. I love you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> here. It's the least I can do. I, I, I owe you this much. See, Morty? Now we're both accountable. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really special thing. You I mean, you could use it to power all your vehicles. You wouldn't be relying on gasoline. You'll be the most... <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, Summer. How were the ruins today? Oh, you know, Asshole Eli. Stash. Same shit, different oh, right. day. <laughs> 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 Daddy, uh -huh. Daddy, fucking da. The only one committed to not. Kind of looks like I, Beth I, 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 and I Jerry's sure house. You proved your point. I get it. Let's just go home. Coolsies. <laughs> cool. So, lots of hookers outside, huh? Is that what they are? <laughs> <laughs> Is that <laughs> guys? That was their reaction. My rewatch of uh, this episode. What do you guys think? I mean, it was a good episode. I liked it quite a bit. Um, yeah. Watch Gravity Falls. I missed that. I don't know what you guys are laughing about. Um, but yeah, it was a good episode. Uh, it was kind of funny because Summer at the end, it felt like she kind of had Jerry and Beth's marriage. You know what I mean? Because she, I, I guess she married that fucking pale head. Yeah. And she was bitching and screaming at him, and he was sitting there fucking clicking on the TV and. Yeah, it was kind of like a repeat there. <laughs> it definitely was, especially when she went out to talk to Rick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of saying, oh, no. Yeah. God, you know. Yeah. They're going to just cut the crap, Rick. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> thankfully, they had the portal gun and she'd get the fuck out of there real quick, like, so that was hilarious. Yeah. I, I, to me, one of the cool things was that he helped um, progress our civilization to a much further into the, the K scale. Okay, not obviously a type one, but they were basically. In a post-apocalyptic world, to the point where they're bartering and trading again, mm -hmm. and they're barbaric, yeah, and they, they don't have, have any kind of technology except the yeah. cars they work on. It yeah. seems like they're well, camping, they had, basically. Mm -hmm. By the end, they had neighborhoods and shit they have like lawnmowers. That. They had yeah. electricity. He sped it up yeah. just to speed up that process, yeah, to their decline. But when he left, did he take the power to the whole system or just that house? Yeah, he had the he, cause because they showed the. The power going mm -hmm. through that neighborhood mm -hmm. from the pole coming up yeah. from their house, I think. Yeah. Right. And it showed, that, it showed it coming out from the center out to everyone else. And although then he that, snatched it. All of yeah. that was smaller than what we saw. He had both of them. Okay. He had the big one in his hand. And okay. And he went to step in the portal and stop. <laughs> He's and like, then grabbed the other one and it. left. <laughs> okay, okay. And then the guy, no! no! <laughs> Which, like, what would they do after that? You know, they'd probably oh. regress back to where they were. Because like they're not really so killing their neighbors. And they're not chaos. really socially evolved enough. Well, if they could find another one of those rocks, they could just put it back in that thing. I think it'd be hard to do. That's why it's so valuable, right? Well, it's valuable to Rick. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Yeah. This, uh, quite honestly, though, this episode had some difficult moments for me, man, with the fucking. Even though I don't like Jerry, but 
you know, the every other weekend with his kids and that whole divorce element. That shit's kind of fresh for me. So, now thankfully, I get to see my kids more often every other week. But still, it's yeah, a fucking open wound. You know it definitely I mean? takes its toll. Yeah, it's an open wound. For sure. Yeah, you know, like... I can only imagine that's a shitty situation for anybody, even Jerry. You know, and unfortunately, it's brought upon brought upon by himself. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we'll see what happens. You Absolutely. know, this is a long show, so you know, I don't think Jerry's story is quite done. <laughs> Hell no, it ain't done. So. It was fucking hilarious at the end. He's like about the hookers. Is that what they are? Yeah. He knew what those were. <laughs> maybe, probably, maybe he not. might have had a hooker <laughs> too. Kind of he is kind of ignorant. Yeah, he is ignorant, but he might have. He might have tasted the rainbow. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> He's the rainbow. <laughs> the, uh, I always enjoy the Mad Max settings post-apocalyptic. So, but, yeah. Sorry. Well, the uh, the guy that followed Rick through the portal the first time. Mm-hmm. It's like, my body is chrome. Oh, yeah. My blood is gasoline. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he fucking gets his head cut off cut, in the car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, nope, real blood. Real blood. <laughs> have you seen the Mad Max movies? I saw the original probably 30 years ago. Okay. Uh, so I don't remember much. That was who was that? Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Yeah. yeah. Um, the newer one that just came out in the last couple of years, I have not seen. Because I haven't really seen. Out. Yeah, I haven't seen any of them. It's what you're missing out. I'm missing out. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't seen any of them until I saw. Well, I, I, you know, I still have only seen the most recent one, and until I saw the most recent Mission Impossible, I thought this Mad Max Fury Road was the greatest action movie I've ever seen in my life. Really? Huh. I yeah. Pretty intense. And that's the newest one. Yeah, I'm not talking about like. Yeah, I'm talking about action. This mediocre. I mean, the story is incredibly good, but the action mm-hmm. and the intensity, uh, it's just, it's off the charts. Yeah. So the original yeah. Mad Max, I really don't remember much from it. Obviously, I know you know the loose storyline, but um, I mean, it's been 30 years ago, so yeah. I should definitely well, probably rewatch those. The uh, family robots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When he shuts Summer off, yeah. and then he shuts Morty off, he's like, ah, my sister died in the spaghetti. <laughs> so, do you guys remember in the intro, the previous intros, when Morty, his face would open up and he'd be yeah. like a robot? Yeah. I remember watching this the first time thinking, okay, now we're going to get to see that. We still didn't see it. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that the, sometimes the intros give you glimpses of episodes and some yeah. of it's just random shit. Sometimes yeah. it's just random stuff, yeah. Because we still ain't seen... The Cthulhu moment. No, we haven't. So, except for you see glimpses of Cthulhu. But yeah, you don't see that moment in his where, base, they, where yeah. they steal the Cthulhu's baby. Yeah, yeah. Cthulhu's chasing them. Yeah, Rick is make Rick is going through a lot of effort to make sure Beth and Jerry stay divorced. I mm-hmm. think. Yeah. yeah, and he's going through a lot of effort to make it look like he also doesn't care. Yeah. Right. And it's just funny. He's just putting so much effort into all these things. I can relate to that a little bit. <laughs> Putting effort, you're putting in the effort into feeding feeding into something that you love and you're also going through a lot of effort to like maintain your sanity and appear normal yeah you know what I mean but the kids the kids took the divorce or seemingly the divorce uh, pretty hard uh, I loved how they <laughs> fucking Morty ended up having that big strong army what do you name Armathy Armathy, Armathy. Yeah. Um, that was the highlight of the episode for me to seeing him crush skulls you know? yeah it was so like when it just started happening the way, yeah. when the show does some um, gimmick, and mm-hmm. then it commits to it. It's always like incredibly fun to watch. Mine was the part with the with Armathy when he hugs Armathy, and they they decide to get through their shit together. The yeah. guy in the tub's like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they kill him. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Um, see, now we're both accountable. Yeah, exactly. Like killing that guy. Based on what you said, though, see, like Beth was dealing with the divorce in a way where she acts like she didn't give a shit, didn't care about her dad. Mm-hmm. I think that was her way of dealing with it, of just turning off her emotions or making it look like that, and then. Um, Morty, he seemed to be dealing with it like a little more open. Normally, he, he seemed more normal in right. terms of like where he's kind of like, okay, well, this is Dad. Summer, say bye to him. I think he didn't exactly want them to get divorced. No, I don't think so. But yeah. then, then he went to the fucking blood zone, blood dome, or whatever it was called, and he started killing people with his, the other arm, or the arm started killing people. Yeah, and he was kind of like fucking acting like the people that the arm was killing was like Jerry. You remember yeah. him yelling at yeah. him? Yeah, he rage for his dad. Yeah. yeah. So that was, uh, you know, that was a moment where he was feeling the pain. For and he sure. had a, I don't call it a lightened, he had a different point of view, I think a, maybe a healthier point of view, where he was just like, okay, well, I love my dad, but if mm. he's not here fighting for you, then maybe that's how the reality is. Or maybe he's not strong enough to do it, but that's just, it's okay, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was that was another hard scene for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's more complicated than that. You know what I mean? Well, Jerry is definitely... What is, because, sh- like, if the kids are with one parent... Right. They, they can misconstrue the parent coming home as, as like, how the parent is... How he how that parent loves or cares about the kids, but in all reality, it's complicated because it's not the kids; it's the you know, the partner. Yeah. yeah, it's very complicated, and especially in a situation where you know parent sees the kid every other week or something. That's, I mean, the dad or the mom that's in that situation isn't there, or isn't not there because they don't want to be. Um, yeah, a lot of times this shit's court ordered and fucking. The law, basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's yeah. kind of hard. If you're the, the dad, I think you are. And I, like in my case, mm-hmm. I was able to spend a lot of time with my daughters prior to the divorce. Oh, so yeah. So that relationship that's been established, it took a blow. Mm-hmm. But they still remember that. They still love to see me. They still love to come over and want to spend time with me. Absolutely. I can vouch for that. They certainly do. Yeah, absolutely. And for me, thankfully, I get to see my kids a lot. But there is some personal guilt. You know, when I don't see him for three or four days just no, because I, of the situation, I, you know. I, so uh, this episode and that particular moment uh, where at the end where Morty said that, you know, dad just must not want to be here bad enough or something to that effect, you know, that kind of hit me. Yeah, because that's not, that's, 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 really that's a small view. Yeah, yeah, yeah small yeah. view. Yeah. And I know it's probably, even though Jerry's a shitbag, it's probably eating him alive. Like the coyote. <laughs> they got his fucking just on the check fed, at the end. fed off of his anguish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when you're going through a hard time in life, it feels like you have like, like, like a metaphorical wolf, mm. like that is feeding off your pain and anguish. Yeah, never imagined it that way. That's... I never did either. If I saw this, yeah. yeah. I mean, but you, 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 you imagine that there's things that metaphorically or spiritually benefit from your pain and suffering, and no. it just keeps happening. No. You just it just happens, yeah. It just it just it's always <laughs> happened to me, and it's still happening, yeah. and it's. I, I never thought of it, but I saw this. I thought it, you know, it was it's just an interesting thing to see. Well, this shit, week, shit just happens, man. If you're a fish, you'd swim. If you're a drunk, you'd drink. Okay, <laughs> that's just how life is. This week, I've had a lot of wolves. I've had a lot Same. of wolves. <laughs> well, that's true. I mean, you're born into this world, and you're doing what humans do, just like a fish would do if it's born a fish. It's like you're born alone, you die alone, and the only rules in this world are. You know, the ones that people make up for order, you know, kind of thing. Well, they assign meaning to life because they want meaning to life. No, I I, 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 I get what you're saying. Yeah, I, hmm. I can see where that's true. You know, I can't deny to an extent yeah. any morality because I have my daughters and I had, you know, I owe that to them. Yeah. But outside of that, which I think is instinctive too, it's a primal instinct. You're young, you're a progeny. I'm sorry, what was that? Like looking thing? after them. Oh taking yeah, care of them, being oh, there for sure. Because you want to them. propagate your DNA and make yeah. sure it survives. But it's, right. uh, but it's more than that. No, I, I, I certainly believe that. But I, you can take it back to that. Is my point. But what I'm saying about the morality at large and these big arguments over it, mm-hmm. by and large, I think it is what you make of it. Yeah, because whether that morality is objective or subjective, you still feel your feelings. Mm-hmm. You know, and you still, yeah, you still. Well, you have. What's been conditioned into you? Yeah, like time. whatever, what, whatever, what whatever to... love is, is if it's this objective, subjective thing, or is it this deeper thing from a higher power, or if it's something that's been evolved into us, you still feel it. It's still important. Well, I mean, and I, it's very meaningful to love and take care for your kids and see them. You talk about compartment. You talk a lot about compartmentalization mm-hmm. and how good you are at it. Mm-hmm. I compartmentalize my life with my kids. Yeah, and I think I do that very. I could, I make a very strong effort to do it. Yeah. And because I want that world to still be theirs mm-hmm. and to give them everything they had and what they think they've lost. Yeah. Outside of that, it's like a fucking wasteland. It's like Mad, it's like Mad Max. It's a Thunderdome. It's a, Thunderdome. It's a fucking Thunderdome outside of that. I'm not saying I'm the saddest man on earth, but it's just, it's outside of that. To me, it's just Thunderdome. It just is yeah, what you, it is. You don't put in the same effort and you don't no, care no. if that wastes away as long as your, your children yeah. Yeah, have, exactly. you give them 110%. And I think that's a very admirable thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, everything you just said, Zach, I can relate to. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. That's, that's the focus. Mm-hmm. And one thing I love about shows like this is we can have conversations like this, and I can have conversations with people I trust and be vulnerable on camera. So yeah. I hope you guys get a nice glimpse and enjoy that. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this show. I love the conversations we have for it. This wasn't my favorite episode, but it was certainly, it was definitely, um, I don't say it's unique, because I've 
borrowed from Mad Max. I really yeah. liked it, but I didn't have a lot of laugh out moments. But I was, I couldn't look away. Just go ahead. We had an instance where Summer brought the skull back for her dad. I noticed that. Yeah. yeah. So she's approaching him, trying to make amends, amends like a peace anything. offering. Yeah. But and the meaning back, behind the skull. Going back to the skull mm-hmm. and the sentimentality. Yeah. So how sentimental are you about things? You're a sentimental person. I've come to the realization that even though, like, when it comes to the philosophy of Stoicism, I'm, you know, one component of me that will always be there despite that philosophy and how I grow is I'm very sentimental. Very sentimental. Uh, so, I don't want to Sentimentalist! You gotta watch, yeah, okay. The strain. The strain, yeah. The strain is a great show. Yeah, um, so. The, the the way I make a cool in my head is Voldemort was very sentimental. Yeah, he, he was. Yeah, like, so he put these horror cruxes in all these different places. Right. And they're all these places that were meaningful to him. Well, right. Abraham's Atrakian was cooler than Voldemort. So that's all you need. Um, he if, was, you, if you want to go the villain route. Y- yeah, if you're going the villain <laughs> route. Uh, I mean, I, I love... The, Vol- the, the, the Voldemort character, I think, is one of the coolest villains, especially when you read the books. But mm. I'm always more of a good guy person than a bad guy person. Uh, even the Vader Anakin thing, like I love the hero aspect of Vader. Um, but yeah, Abraham said, "Check in." I can't disagree with you there. Yeah. But in, in terms of villains, Voldemort is great, and I just love how how sentimental he is. And even though he's this terrible, evil person, like terrible, racist piece of shit, like he's this sentimental guy, and there's these things that are meaningful to him as a child. Right. And he puts these things in those places. Yes. Yeah. It's very cool. What about you, James? I'm very sentimental. Uh, I'm more sentimental than I'd like to be. For example. Um, like even houses I've sold and places I've lived in the past where I knew I was not happy living there or being there. I'm like, man, you know, part of me thinks back, man, I miss that place. I wish I could go live in that house or that apartment. Or or go back to that time. Or go back to that time. Maybe that's what you mean. Even was, it wasn't even a, a very happy time, like parts of my childhood. Like I think, oh man, I wish I could go back. You know, this shit was fucked up, but man, I wish I could go back. So, and then especially with my kids, I'm sentimental. Yeah, you know, I save a bunch of their shit, you know, that they... That, that's a thing that's hard for me. Yeah. I... You know, my wife want, always wants to throw away like some stuff. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Yeah. And I, I, I want to have every memory. homework assignment. I'm same way. Everything. Yeah. I have. Yeah. My youngest daughter. I mean, I've got her little, a little. It ain't really homework for her because she ain't in school yet. Right. But right. her little where she practices her writing and shit. That's on yeah. the fridge downstairs. With yeah. my kids, I'm very sentimental. Yeah. I mean, I save all that stuff. I got a storage unit in Cincinnati where you know, I got folders of fucking schoolwork from when we lived in Arizona. Tests. Fucking drawings when they were like three years old, you know. I saved one of that, all that shit. My ex wife, though, like, and I'm not dissing her saying this is bad, but she's not sentimental, so she's like, put it in trash, you know what I mean? Get rid of that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're probably, <laughs> it, it, see, it, just say I'm very sentimental and I hold on to, like, especially my kids' stuff. Like, my, my wife will, she's definitely cleaner and more organized than me. And right. She wants to get rid of stuff, it's, right? Even that stuff, even the, you know, the drawing on the fridge, right. Yeah, if, I mean, yeah, for me, outside of that, though, I... I'm that's hit, your compartmentalization? I'm, I'm, I'm hit and miss. Hit and miss? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm wearing my grandpa's belt buckle right now. And you carry and his I, I cigarette tin. cigarette tin. And his, bare, his brass knuckles. <laughs> yeah, I still have those, too. So yeah, because they lost in my house. I know. We found. I wasn't very happy. Yeah. <laughs> but they ended, up being a, they ended up being a pile of something that was yours. No, it was a pile of clothes that was over by your computer. Okay, in a what corner with my clothes. clothes. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it just depends. Yeah. It's hit and miss. You know, yeah. when our grandpa just passed away, and our grandma, um, yeah. you know, their things that we, you know, there was so much stuff. Um, it was hard for me to see their things go, because, um, you know, even they're gone, and you almost look at that as like a piece of them, even if it's something as simple as a, a glass vase or something, well, you know like what I mean? The cigarette tin that he mentioned, yeah. I used to take that, my grandpa always carried it, but I used to take it because it opens on one side. And he had a soft pack of cigarettes on the inside that only opened on one side. So I'd take that fucking thing and flip it around on him all the time. Yeah. When I was little to yeah. fuck with him. What would he do? God. He, he just laughed. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he enjoyed it. <laughs> so, He's a sweet guy when he went drunk, for sure. Yeah, I mean, he was always good to me. I mean, there yeah. was never... I mean, he would bitch and yell at me if I was, wasn't doing something he wanted me to do. Oh, right, right, right. But, exactly. Yeah, but in the end... Yeah, and so I... He, it's something like that that I can take those memories with. No, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'm the same way. So at my parents' house, there's actually going back to the grandparents thing. Uh, did you get anything particular from grandma that you really wanted? Um, from grandma, or grandma, grandpa, whatever. Um, no, there was nothing that I really, really wanted um, per se, because I knew that my dad would get so much stuff that I eventually will be able to 
pick some of her. Nice Playing that when he dies. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, I, I know it's probably the same for your parents uh, or your dad and the other. Well, children. I wanted two things for sure. Well, I know you wanted the cup, right? There's a cup that I used to drink out of. It was, right. a, it was a yellow cup. It was a plastic cup, wasn't it? Plastic yellow cup. Yeah. I, to this day, mm-hmm. I love to have my beverages, especially milk. Mm-hmm. In a plastic cup, mm-hmm. and I don't know why. I think it tastes better. Right. Like I, I, I always pick plastic over the glass. I prefer glass, but yeah. But like magic, glass too. Yeah. magic, a Pepsi or a Coke, like that's pretty good on glass. But I still would pick plastic a lot of times. Huh. But with well, milk, like, like, milk, and like when you get it in a container at the store, when huh? you get the glass bottles, right. yeah. oh, it's better. It's, it's better. No, I admit, I, I know objectively, it's better. Right. Well, not just that for that reason, but, but like, just it's better. It just tastes. better. No, I, I get you. I right. think just because I understand it's weird, but just my brain. Well, growing up, you always used plastic cups. Yeah, and because my parents, we just didn't mm-hmm. have fucking glass fucking cups until right. so I moved out. My dad well, said, yeah, when I, you moved out, we got all the nice you, stuff. You're not like my parents. My parents hold, are hoarders, and they hold on to everything. My parents would empty a salsa can, you know, chip and dip, and when it was empty, they turn not can, glass. When it was empty, they turned the salsa glass into a cup. That's what we do. No, that's what I do. That's my mom. She gives me soup in 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 old Prego spaghetti cups, spaghetti glasses, right, and salsa as well. I reuse that shit all the time. You reuse that shit all the time. Yeah, I get fucking cottage cheese containers and use it for Tupperware, man. (laughs) I don't go buy Tupperware. I just fucking everything I buy, I I wash it and reuse it. You put it in a microwave and heat it up, and it's like plastic and fucking macaroni and cheese. Ain't melted yet, but what it'll do though, the thinner plastic after you heat it up and put the lid on it, that causes a vacuum in there. Oh yeah, yeah. There, it sucks, it sucks the in. fucking thing yeah. in. Is that your version of canning? <laughs> <laughs> so, and also, I, I got this porcelain uh, um, garden ornament. It said it's a toad house. It says toad house on it. Who I got was, that for you? You did. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's actually here at Zach's downstairs. It's downstairs. Cabin. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so it's just when I was 11 years old, my I went with my grandma to Kmart to buy it, and we put it in her garden. And she says, Shane, can you find me a toad to live in there? I remember thinking. I know you guys heard the story, but they haven't. Uh, I remember thinking, I was like 11, like, Grandma, this toad ain't going to stay in this fucking toad house. <laughs> and she says, oh, just find me a toad. And I did. I put it in there, in this little porcelain house. And then, of course, the next morning, Shane, I think you're right. That toad doesn't want to stay. <laughs> gone. Can you find yeah. me another toad? I said, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I got um, Grandpa's grandpa's old motor, uh, motorcycle helmet that he probably used in the 60s or 70s. Yeah. I got an old radio that he had. Um, and then... Um, like I said, my parents, probably like all the other kids, have boxes and boxes of stuff they got from Grandma. So, you know, when the time's right, um, you know, I'll get some stuff. But, yeah, I'm very sentimental, dude. I, I try to hold on to, like, things from, like, my other grandparents on my mom's side that passed away. I try yeah. to hold on to, like, memories of them. And, you know, every day you get a little bit older, it's hard to hold on to those memories. They fade, fade away a little well, bit. Well, then you think you that's the only thing keeping me alive is you. Then when yeah. you go, what the hell, no one's going to remember any of these people. Right, yeah. right. Which is kind of sad. It is sad. It said, one cool thing is my grandparents on my mom's side have, um, they have, uh, fucking the old recorders, uh, cameras, recorder cameras, like from the fucking 60s or 70s. Did you wind up? The, the, we, the, the fucking big fucking things with the film on it, you know what I mean? The I, carousel? I don't, I don't even know what they're called. I don't even know what that they're called. That projector? Yeah, like the projector one. Yeah, the projector, the projector. Yeah, like there's, uh, well, if you're a fan of Mad Men, which yeah. I, yeah, I know you haven't really seen it, but... There's an episode called The Carousel mm-hmm. where they had these things, but they made, they labeled it The Carousel because they think it sounded cooler. Mm. So it would sell more. But yeah. <laughs> but I need to check with my Aunt Angie and see if she still has those because, um, you know, it's home video of my mom when she was a little girl, home video of my grandpa, my grandma. I what she looked like. Who, my mom? mom? Yeah. I, I, I she got was, pictures of her. I thought she, I remember thinking when I was a little kid that she was really pretty. Oh, she was. Yeah. yeah she was. Um, but yeah, man, uh, fuck, I'm sentimental as fuck. It's terrible. It is terrible. No, I, I definitely am, uh, for sure. Like, I have, I, you know, like, stuffed animals from my childhood. I still have my parents' house. My mom, yeah. I tell my mom, don't throw these away. Yeah, yeah. Bobo, Freddy, <laughs> Klondike. I still have from my childhood. I still have a watch my dad bought me. Mm-hmm. And I have the little Cayman crocodile toy. Yeah. That kind like, of just the turned... Head? No, I bought that that for my grandpa, mm-hmm. the alligator head. Oh, uh, okay. But well, I don't remember that. It's weird. There's a little, you know, those little animal toys, the plastic ones, kind of like that turtle. You yeah. You can buy it, yeah. then, I don't know, Crafts 2000, shit yeah. like that. Yeah. And there's bins. Well, there's a caiman, a little alligator. Well, it's more of a, it's a crocodile. But, um, <laughs> the, uh, I, it just turned up. So I ended up giving it to my oldest daughter, and it 
stuck around, so I still got it downstairs. Wow. Yeah. Something we had. We has, played with them when we were little. Now it has a new meaning because of your daughters. Yeah. Which so it's, it's, it's always it's interesting. It's out. It's, it's somehow survived this time. I, I always... Yeah, yeah I think... I, I wish I took better care of my action figures. <laughs> yeah, same. We still... At the house... Uh, my parents' house, we still have a big laundry basket full of fucking... Wrestlers? WWF wrestlers from fucking... Yeah, if you 25 did. years ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, now I, we got a whole bunch of stuff back here that I'm probably going to end up being sentimental about. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Because you Especially got Thank that you. goddamn light. That light, man. That yeah, light. There's Ooh. everything back there. The mug. Yeah. The mug's damn still... I ain't used it as much as I wanted to. But it kind of gets up here. I don't come in here until they get here. <laughs> so. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah. Um, and this is why the show is great. It's because you can have these kind of conversations. Mm. You know, and you know what's interesting is... Because I know the creators watch reactions, so I always wonder, you know... I wonder if they look at ours and say, look at these assholes. <laughs> and then they flip it. <laughs> well, they say to the good stuff. Hopefully they have to see the hat. Like, well, we're going to stick around with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that, guys, I don't got too much else to say. Nope. Maybe. No. It's good shit. Guys, thank you so much for watching our reaction, and if you made it to the end, Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, now you can subscribe, no you can trophies, like, no. and you can comment. Yeah, that's a trophy. Yeah, we appreciate the hell of you. Hope you enjoyed the conversation. Uh, make sure you check out our other com. Uh, 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 make sure you check out our other videos as well. Thank you.